Welcome back everyone. My name is Erin Gifford. I'm a freelance graphic designer in Wisconsin and I have a new tutorial for you today. And this one, actually, even though I'm inside Illustrator right now, um, this one pertains to all the Adobe products. We are going to be talking about um, libraries today. And um, when you, let, let's just go ahead and open our library. If you go up to Window, again, I'm an Illustrator, but this libraries can be found in any of your Adobe programs. So I am going to go to Libraries, get my window open here. Try to make it a little bigger for you. So Libraries are great. Think of them as um, a short cut way to save colors, photos, logos that you use constantly. Um, so like for me being a freelance graphic designer, I have a library um, set up for each of my clients and so I have their logo or logo saved within the, their library I have if they have specific brand colors I have them saved in my library so that they're right there at my fingertips um, right when I need them so if you look here right at the top um, is this particular library that I have saved is for my client who is um, their company name is Power Pusher. So if I click on this little arrow, you can see that I have um, quite a few libraries here made. Um, and the only difference down here, if you look at these two, you can see there's a little people icon next to them, and that means that I've shared this library with someone else. So that's the other thing. Libraries can be shared. Um, all the assets that are inside any particular library you can share um, to other Adobe users. So um, it really makes it nice and easy for if, if you're part of a team or um, there's lots of different instances of why you might want to share your libraries. Um, so if, if you look, I'm going to show you how to create um, a new one. And if you go up to the right hand corner, uh, you can do create new library. And then let's just call it Aaron's library. Create. So now it gives us little instructions, drag and drop anything from your document to um, this little circle and it will add it, it will add that particular asset to your library so it's right there for you. Um, I'm going to show you how to do a color. Um, so let's pick, let's say that for me my blog colors are black and white so this is going to be kind of boring but um, if you had a particular PMS color or a series of PMS colors, um, you could just make your um, color swatch and then just drag it in. And it is going to add that. to my library. And because I made a square, it's saving the square for me. Um, so if I want to call that square back up at any point, I can. It's just saving it as a as a vector file. So um, the plus sign down here is for if you want to add specific colors. So if I wanted to add this pure 100% CMYK black to my library, because that's the black that I use all the time, um, you can see right now you have the choice of adding fill color and if I had a stroke color selected it would also show up the stroke color and you could add that as well but since I only have a fill um, we're just gonna add the fill just hit add and then you can see up here it makes a little subcategory called colors and my color is right here for me to reference at any time um, the other thing I'm gonna show you I'm going to open up my logo. Um, and I'm going to add my logo to my library too. So I'm going to click and drag and select. 
and I'm just gonna drag it over to my library and there's my logo so usually what I do with my clients is I make um, a reverse copy of my logo too so I'm gonna make this white So I have a reversed out version at my fingertips too. I'm going to select it and then I'm going to drag it over. So now in my library I have a, a white reversed out copy of my logo. I have my normal logo. Um, if I had a photograph that I use or a header image that I use all the time, I would just open that up. Let's find one. Um, Here's my new header. Um, so obviously it's way bigger than my artboard, but that's fine. We're just going to click and drag, add it to our library. So there's my header. And I think, yep, you can rename these um, so it's not just defaulting to artwork. Um, do white logo. black logo, black box, um, and another useful thing for me to have would be my headshot because I do use that um, in design work quite often for my blog. So there's my headshot. I'm just going to drag it over and now it's right here. So the other cool thing um, is that, and I'm going to cross my fingers because I've never done this back to back before, but I believe if I jump over here to Photoshop, and my Photoshop is always slow, I apologize, but I should be able to call up my library. Do, do, do. I hope everyone's having a great week. Um, I'm just going to kill some time while this opens. Oh, maybe it is all the way open. Just have to, no, nope, it's still paused. The kids and I spent the last week in Chicago for a couple days, and I am, it is my new favorite city. So um, I just want to give a little shout out to anyone who's listening from Chicago. We really enjoyed being there and loved that everybody was so nice. So, um, okay, back to libraries. Now I'm in Photoshop, and I'm going to call up, um, wait, I'm going to go here, and then here, see Aaron's library, that's the one I just made, and all of my assets are here, even in Photoshop. So they're at my fingertips no matter what program I'm in. So if I opened up InDesign, all of my assets, my colors, my logos, my images could all be right here. Same thing when I'm working with a client. If I say that I'm working on a design for my client, Buena, this was her um, background for her website. So if I double click on it, it's probably going to take a little bit because I'm in Photoshop, but let's try dragging it. I'm going to click, I clicked on it, and I'm dragging it up to the top bar in Photoshop. And it should, there it is, open up for me. So it saves us the time of having to do file open and then go find your files wherever you have them saved. Um, these libraries, if you take the time up front to, to create them and organize them, you will save yourself so much time in the long run. So um, I just hope that this helps you in your next project. And for those of you that are, you know, the organizing type, and and um, I, I just hope that this helps you um, stay organized. So have a great rest of the week, and until next time, see you later.